Access your free language gifts right now, before they expire. First, the Shopping at a Mall Conversation PDF Cheat Sheet. You'll learn all the must-know words and phrases for shopping and getting around the mall with this new cheat sheet. Download it for free right now. Second, the top 15 phrases for exchanges, refunds, and complaints. This one-minute lesson will teach you phrases like, I got the wrong size, can I get a refund, and much more. Third, how about online shopping phrases? With this quick lesson, you'll learn how to say, sign up, log in, add to cart, and much more in your target language. Access it right now. Fourth, want to know how to improve your speaking skills? This one minute lesson reveals all the top learning strategies that will get you speaking with confidence. Fifth, the Mother's Day and Father's Day writing worksheet. This bonus printable PDF worksheet teaches you the must-know vocabulary for Mother's Day and Father's Day. And you can even practice writing the words out. And sixth, free language learning audiobooks for anyone who's watched this far. If you visit the link below, we'll send you over to our library of language learning audiobooks, which you can get for free. Save them to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hi, everybody. My name is Wu Rui. Welcome to the 2000 Core Chinese Words and Phrases video series. Each lesson will help you learn new words, practice, and review what you learned. Okay, let's get started. First is Wei Bu Zu Dao De, Insignificant. Wei Bu Zu Dao De, Wei Bu Zu Dao De, Insignificant. Wei Bu Zu Dao De, Shu Liang. Insignificant amount. Wei Bu Zu Dao De, Shu Liang. Yo Ming De, Famous. 有名的, 有名的, famous, 有名的演员, famous actor, 有名的演员, 打喷嚏, sneeze, 打喷嚏, 打喷嚏, sneeze. 这个女人正在打喷嚏 The woman is sneezing 这个女人正在打喷嚏 休闲 Casual 休闲 休闲, Casual 休闲服饰 Casual clothing. Xiu xian fu shi. Gita. Guitar. Gita. Gita. Guitar. Liu xian gita. Six string guitar. Liu xian gita. Hu xi. Breeze. Hu xi. Hu xi. Breeze. Sheng hu xi. Breeze deeply. Sheng hu xi. Tu. Spit. Tu. Tu. Spit. 不准吐痰 No spitting 不准吐痰 牙医 Dentist 牙医 牙医 Dentist 看牙医 See the dentist 看牙医 牙洞, cavity, 牙洞, 
洞 cavity, 深牙洞 deep cavity, 深牙洞哮喘 asthma, 哮喘哮喘 asthma. 哮喘吸入器 ，asthma inhaler。哮喘吸入器。Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. First, you will hear a word or phrase in English. Respond in Chinese. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say insignificant? 微不足道的，微不足道的。And how to say famous? 有名的，有名的。What about sneeze? 打喷嚏，打喷嚏。Do you remember how to say casual? 休闲，休闲。Let's try guitar. 吉他，吉他。What about the breeze? 呼吸，呼吸。Now, let's see if you remember how to say spit. 吐，吐。Another one. What about dentist? 牙医，牙医。Do you remember how to say cavity? 牙洞，牙洞。And finally, do you remember how to say asthma? 哮喘。哮喘。We're done. See you next time. 再见。今天真热。In the next minute, you'll be challenged to make small talk about the weather. First, let's look at some examples. 今天真热。是啊。真热，今天真冷。是啊，真冷。今天真暖和。是啊，真暖和。Let's practice. 今天四十度，和音如说说今天的天气。是啊，真热。今天零度，和音如说说今天的天气。是啊，真冷。How did you do? You can consider this practice exercise successful if you were able to answer in the given time, completed a pattern with a weather condition, and used the sentence pattern featured in this example. Try this practice exercise again if you want to improve your fluency or skill in any of these areas.
In the next minute, you'll be challenged to talk about the weather. First, let's look at some examples. Let's practice. 现在在下雨,回答下面的问题。天气怎么样? 现在出太阳了,回答下面的问题。How did you do? You can consider this practice exercise successful if you were able to answer in the given time, completed a pattern with a weather condition, and use the sentence pattern featured in this example. 在出太阳。Try this practice exercise again if you want to improve your fluency or skill in any of these areas. In the next minute, you'll be challenged to ask for clarification. First, let's look at some examples. 不好意思,请再说一遍。请说慢一点。不好意思,请说慢一点。不好意思,请说慢一点。Let's practice. 你不明白英如说了什么,请他再说一遍,说慢一点。今天天气很好。哦,对不起,我说今天天气很好。Oh, How did you do? You can consider this practice exercise successful if you were able to answer in the given time and use the sentence pattern featured in this example. 不好意思。请说慢一点。Try this practice exercise again if you want to improve your fluency or skill in any of these areas. 用中文怎么说? In the next minute, you'll be challenged to ask for a word in Chinese. First, let's look at some examples. Textbook, 用中文,怎么说? 课本 Pen, 用中文,怎么说? 笔 那个用中文,怎么说? 铅笔 Let's practice. 你不知道Chopsticks的中文? 你问英如? How did you do? You can consider this practice exercise successful if you were able to answer in the given time, completed a pattern with an English word, and use the sentence pattern featured in this example. Pen, 用中文,怎么说? Try this practice exercise again if you want to improve your fluency or skill in any of these areas. Hey everyone, welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. 
where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is, can busy people actually learn a language? You yourself probably have an answer to this question, right? But whether you can or can't actually has a bit more to do with your mindset than anything else. And in this guide, you'll discover, one, is it possible for busy people to learn a language and the mindset needed? Two, mental bandwidth, the one thing that can make or break your language goals. And three, five mindset tricks to make time for language. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Talking Online PDF Cheat Sheet. Learn the must-know internet slang and all the internet-related vocab and phrases in your target language with this PDF Cheat Sheet. And second, the 40 words and phrases for ordering food writing workbook. With this free resource, you'll pick up must-know words and phrases for the restaurant and practice writing them out as well. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Can busy people actually learn a language? Part one, is it possible for busy people to learn a language and the mindset needed? So can busy people actually learn a language? What do you think? Leave us a comment and let us know. As much as we want to say yes, it's more of a yes or no depending on the person. Why yes? Yes, because many of our members are busy and are learning with our system. And some of you who are watching also fall into this camp. But it also depends on the person because it's more of a mindset thing. Either you think you have time or you don't. For example, many of our members fall into the group of can learn and can find the time, even if they're busy. If you're busy and still want to learn, if you look around, you can always find five or 10 minutes a day, like on a commute. Now, if your mindset is the opposite, if you think you can't learn a language or you don't have time, you won't even try, even if you had a resource that was proven to work. Part two. Mental bandwidth, the one thing that can make or break your language goals. And if you think about it, if you had all the time in the world but felt like you couldn't learn a language, you wouldn't try either. Again, this is why it comes down to the mindset and why it all depends on each individual person. Either you think you can or you think you can't. But it may not always be this black and white either. It can also depend on your mental bandwidth too. Think back to your school days, those few days before exams. It got really busy and you had to stop everything to study, right? You were probably thinking, if I can just get through studying this week and take the test, then next week I can finally start relaxing and doing other things. And if someone asked you if you wanted to hang out, you would say no, because you're busy. But chances are you still managed to spend at least 30 minutes on YouTube or social media. Meaning you did have some time, even if you were busy. But the test was occupying your mind and taking up all that bandwidth. So it's also possible that we just don't have the mental bandwidth because we're overwhelmed. And this is a genuine reason for not being able to learn when you're busy. Don't worry, in the next part, we'll show you how to get some bandwidth so that you don't feel overwhelmed. Part three, five mindset tricks to make time for language. So if you've gotten this far, you understand that it is possible to start learning a language, even if you're busy, that you can find the time, but it mostly comes down to your mindset. So how can you develop the mindset? So when you're too busy, it feels like you're overwhelmed and like you don't have control of your time. Well, there are a few things you can do to gain some control of your time, have some breathing room and learn a bit of language. First, always set small, measurable goals. This is something that we talk a lot about here. For example, learn for 10, 15, or 20 minutes every day. Learn 100 words in one month, which means learning three to four words a day. 
And the mindset behind this is just being realistic with your goals and what you can do. Because if you're busy, you may not have one or two hours. And this is a strict rule, especially when starting out with new goals and languages. Always stick to small, measurable goals. Second, lowering your goals and expectations is okay when things get super busy. If you couldn't learn all 100 words for the month and only got up to 40 or 60, that's okay. If you tried learning on Monday and Tuesday but skipped Wednesday and Thursday, that's okay. Sometimes you have to shift priorities, and prioritizing things is a secret to a successful life. You may not get to the goal you wanted to achieve today, but you can get to it next week. Third, it's okay to put language on pause if life gets in the way. Just like with that last point, you can always come back and reach your goal a little later. We often see learners put language on pause, come back later. Some even come back years later. But the key is to come back. Fourth, avoid the all or nothing mindset at all costs. And an all or nothing mindset is something you'll see in beginners and perfectionists. When you have this mindset, you'll say, language learning requires hours, so there's no point in learning for a few minutes today. But something is better than nothing, and even five to 10 minutes of review adds up in the grand scheme. And in the grand scheme, it's more important to be consistent, even if it's just for a minute a day, rather than study for hours once a week. The brain just doesn't work that way. Fifth, do you have a slowdown or relaxing routine that you do on the weekends or whenever you have free time? And if you didn't do it, you'd feel overwhelmed? Leave us a comment and let us know what it is. For some, it could be reading, watching TV, or going to a cafe and doing nothing for a bit. You're there on your own, you don't have much to do in front of you, even if it's just 10 or 15 minutes. And if you're settled, you start feeling in control. And that's the point you have some mental bandwidth. You can start doing some time management and plan your week out. You can put in a few minutes of language learning. But if you don't slow down and if you feel overwhelmed, you could have the easiest possible way to learn a language. And you still wouldn't do it. So, back to you. If you were busy, do you think you'd be able to learn a language? Leave us a comment. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Do you record yourself speaking your target language? If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. You say you want to learn and speak the language, but you never quite make the time for it. Well, what if we told you there's an easy way to make time and turn language learning into a habit without carving out time, rearranging your schedule, or changing your life? How to use habit stacking to learn and create a simple learning routine. Stick around. In today's guide, you'll discover one, how to use habit stacking to create a learning routine Two, how to learn language while you're on the go. Three, how to boost your vocabulary in under a minute a day. And four, how to learn while relaxing, plus more. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. What's habit stacking? Habit stacking is an easy way to create new habits by stacking a new habit that you want to have on top of an existing habit that you already have. Why do this? Well, new habits are hard to stick with, but your existing ones are already built into your brain. So by stacking or combining an existing habit with a new one, you're much more likely to stick with it. For example, if you commute to work or school in the morning, use that time to learn the language. Listen to an audio lesson of ours. So here's what else you can do with our learning system. <laughs> Download the innovative language learning app for the iPhone or Android, and you can play our audio and video lessons, absorb practical conversations, pick up new words, phrases, and grammar rules, all during your commute. By the way, you can also apply this tactic to any other routine where it makes sense, like on a walk or while grocery shopping. Do you tend to check your email at a certain time of the day? 
If so, you can also pick up new words in your target language with our Word of the Day emails. With the Word of the Day, you get new words, translations, and sample sentences, all delivered to your inbox. And all of this takes just a minute or less. This service is free for anyone who has an account with us. <laughs> If you tend to wind down in the evening with TV or podcasts, you can use that time to learn some language as well. Just turn on our lessons and play them in the background. Or you can play our vocabulary slideshows and passively review vocabulary in the same way. You can access vocabulary slideshows for free inside our vocabulary lists. By the way, if you've noticed, all of these suggestions include one, your existing habit like commuting, taking a walk, checking email, or relaxing in the evening, and two, your desired habit, learning a language. So if you want to learn the language and get access to these learning tools and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. If you're learning a language, the words and phrases that will come easiest to you will always be the ones you're interested in. Whether it's words with bad or funny meanings or phrases about yourself, such as where you're from or how old you are. So what if you could make your own printable vocabulary worksheets so you could review and practice writing out the words that you're interested in? How to create your own printable vocabulary worksheets. Well, stick around. In today's guide, you'll discover one, how to assemble your own word and phrase lists, two, how to create your own printable worksheets, and much more. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. While you're learning the language, you should keep in mind what exactly you want from this language. Do you want to talk about yourself, your hobbies, or understand TV or music? Why? Because you'll naturally learn faster if you're learning about what you're interested in. So here's how you can assemble your own personal vocab lists. One, as you go through our lessons on the pathway, you'll likely come across words and phrases you want to remember. You could write them down, or you can send them to the Word Bank, which is a premium feature where you can store words and phrases for later review. So look for the Add to Word Bank button on the lesson page. Two, you can also save words and phrases from our free vocabulary list to the Word Bank as well. You can sort through hundreds of vocabulary lists by topics such as weather, hobbies, talking about your day, and more. So you can find words that you're interested in. And then click on Add All to Word Bank. Here's how you can make your own worksheets. Just go to the vocabulary menu and select Word Bank. There, you'll see your collection of words and phrases. Just click on Printer-Friendly Version to print them out. You can also click Export Word Bank. If you've organized and labeled your words into categories, such as verbs and adjectives, you can select that label and export it as a PDF. Then, go ahead and print the file out. You can use this worksheet to review the words or even write on it. So, if you just want ready-made printable worksheets and cheat sheets, then you can always unlock our free Conversation and Vocabulary PDF Cheat Sheets and PDF Writing Worksheets. These resources are free for members of our language learning system. So, if you want to learn the language and get access to these learning tools and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.